Hi guys and welcome to a new episode of A Dark Soul. Have you ever wondered or heard people say, well, shouldn't he have gotten used to us by now? We're gonna talk about how our dogs really get used to us people and what we do wrong to prevent it. I'm Anita, I'm a professional dog trainer. I show you how to build a trusting relationship with your dog, teach him life skills to cope with your day-to-day -day life and conquer fear and reactivity. And if you haven't already, don't forget to like and review the show. And now stay tuned and have fun. All right, so a lot of times, People who are not that familiar with dog behavior kind of seem a little hurt when the dog is barking or growling or running away from them on every occasion they meet. And then they always say something like, shouldn't he have gotten used to us by now? He's seen us so many times. He knows us. And... What's wrong with him? Doesn't he like us? Why? And all those things. But for the dog, this is a little tricky. Because yes, he has seen these people before. And the people didn't do anything to harm the dog intentionally. Of course not. Otherwise, you wouldn't bring your dog to those people again and again, hopefully. <laughs> but... What we as humans do when we meet a dog is very often extremely impolite. And we don't know any better because we have grown up thinking that this is okay or this is the way you have to do it or whatever. But for the dog, this is actually something very scary. And... The most common one is looking the dog directly in the face and if he doesn't avert the eyes, directly stare in the eyes. And this is something very threatening for the dog because dogs wouldn't stare at each other if they had nice intentions. And what often comes with the stare is bending down a little bit so leaning forward and some people clap or in their thighs or talk to the dog and the more the dog barks or shows any kind of behavior that in indicates him feeling uncomfortable the humans either increase their effort to get the dog to like them so they become even more scary for the dog or they get agitated and start raising their voice or the emotion that's lying in the atmosphere is changing towards not so nice let's just say that because people feel offended by the dog and they don't understand and that's okay because as i said before this is something we learn growing up and if we don't learn to do something different then how should we know so if you see your dog in a situation where he's biting growling or running away from a person try to help your dog you are the dog's caretaker and even if that's hard your dog needs you more than the person and i know we try to be polite to the person and excuse the dog and try to teach the person what to do or something like that and very often that doesn't work but we can help the dog and we can show the dog that, yes, this person is impolite at the moment, but 
you don't have to worry about it because I'm here and I'm helping you. Okay. And the way our dogs really get used to people is if people either are really friendly to the dog and try to show de-escalating behavior, like looking away, turning the head away, licking the lips, blinking, stuff like that. Because then the dog will realize that this person is really not going to hurt him and is actually not scary at all. And if you help additionally as your dog's advocate, as your dog's caregiver, then this will go even smoother, all right? So the most important takeaway from this is that the dog is not feeling strong or something like that. I've heard that recently and it kind of triggers me because whenever my dog is barking at people and he's not special in that way, dogs just don't do that out of feeling strong. They do that because they're scared. And yes, some dogs bark at people because they're in a playful mood, but you will see that on the body language. Normally, if this is a tense situation, the dog is just feeling scared and not in any kind of fight mode or feeling strong or feeling dominant or whatever. He's just scared and he really needs your help in that situation. And again, if you want to make your dog comfortable with a person, the easiest way is for the person to ignore the dog. And yes, you can do certain things to help the dog. That always depends on the dog. But any kind of engagement should come from the dog, not from the person. That's a lot more easy and that gives the dog a certain amount of control over the situation. And whenever we control a situation, we feel more safe and more confident to deal with it. All right. If you have any questions, let me know. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll see each other next time. Until then, bye.